Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Full Mojo Rampage. As here as always, and this is a title from Over the Top Games. It is a roguelike game that takes place within voodoo reality. No, how weird that sounds. But hey, you're in for a pretty darn good treat. So you can play co-op, there's also you can fight against each other, there's loads of stuff that I'm going to be going through a little bit. And then we'll, I'll take you to some gameplay, well, a little introduction first, and then some gameplay because I am joined by the dear conflict nerd who squeals a bit. Nah, it's a, there'll be some awesome gameplay following suit after this introduction. Anyway, of course, we check the options. There's quite a, a nice amount of options. You even get colour blind mode, which is really nice. Graphics, of course, your music and sound effects. Now, I'm hoping that during the gameplay I do have these options quite good. I mean, they might be a little bit off at times, they might be a little bit squeal. All the keyboards are weak. Keyboard functions, configurations, controls, etc. As you might want to call them, are all rebindable. You even have expressions. Just keep that in mind. Now, if I go to the Voodoo Academy, no, if I don't want to go to the Voodoo Academy. If I actually head here to online multiplayer, it's where I've been playing. Um, me and Conflict have been playing for a wee bit. There's all these masks. All the masks are just cosmetic. I mean, it tells you a little bit a mask crafted from the Priest Apprentice. You unlock them by using medals, which you get medals from complete objectives, find them in levels, etc. I'm not going to buy one because I'm trying to save up at the moment. And then you get pins, which are, again, very randomated. You find them in the levels, it could be in chests, it could be from creatures, etc. And they all do different things, like this one increases your health. You also can upgrade the pin level as you level up, etc. Like the upgrade crop, like if I want, like that's it on, because my level allows me to take three pins into a level with me. But the more I get up, the I'll be able to upgrade that again. I'll increase this, and green means it's got like added extra. I only have 16 gold, so I can't really do much at the moment. But, you know, you get big bag, which increases your inventory, extra running speed, but there are loads of pins you can actually unlock. And then you've got this, your Loa. Now your Loa is like a sort of special creature, special function, that has like this one allows me to do dodge, voodoo bomb, and then you can unlock these ones, like loco, guide, and they'll do different things. I'll just quickly go through them, if you want to pause the video, have a little look, you can do so. There's a few more over here. Gunner of God. So, I mean, that's really it, and you've got your masters. And nice customization. You can also reset these and redo them up if you want. There's quite an incredible amount of customization in there. And I really like how that's done. Now, of course, the options you have online multiplayer, local multiplayer, play the game. Loads of stuff. Loads. Anyway, folks, I will be taking you to the introduction. Say hi, Conflict Nerd. Hello. He is loving, lovingly and uh, brave, I should say, for joining me in Phil Mojo, Mojo Rampage. I'm going to screw that up at some point. And uh, we've been playing know. a little bit together. He's been squealing, I've been screaming. Yeah, it's a bit it's of all, fun. It, it's all good, yeah. It's, uh, there's, there were spiders. I wasn't expecting spiders. I was talking about spiders earlier in the day. I was talking about the fact that uh, basically, someone was telling me that they were lying in bed last night, and a spider ran across their duvet. I told them that they should have burnt their house down, because that was the only logical thing to do. So spiders were on my mind in a bad way. So what you're Going saying is, Full Mojo Rampage can read your mind. Full Mojo Rampage is the game that you want to play if you want to experience the feeling of having Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> That, you know, the thousand yard stare and all that, that that's what this game is. Well folks, we're just going to actually, I'll be cutting to a little bit of gameplay and we're going to have fun. Hopefully we don't scream too much for you guys. <laughs> fun. But hey, see you in the gameplay. But I can't even read, I hate bl uh, white on black like background. Can you read that? Read what? Do you not get the little thing up, no? What little thing up? The... the Baron Samadir drank too much and left some portals open after oh, failed I summoning. Closed it, your, it. It is your duty to fix things and close the portals. Basically, the game kind of involves closing portals, surviving and not dying, drinking rum. Yeah, there is a lot of that. 
there 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 is a a ridiculous amount of rum drinking it oh. kind of helps you know with the pain of Dying. spiders i also noticed the the, the game very quick loading oh, yeah. and stuff it's like you <laughs> one minute you're in it and then there you go but you kind of start with your basic staff yeah from level one you do get scores to buy others which is quite nice it is worth mentioning we have also we we both leveled a little bit going into this i think i've put more time into it than you at this point What's i'm this? i don't know what that done <laughs> i think i'm level four or something like that i think you're level what two i'm level four too are you okay you've been putting just about as much time into this as me then or you're just better Entirely There's possible. Probably. Mike, Mike, Mike. I don't know what that done. Oh, did I? You've picked up your first mojo. Mojos can be equipped. That wasn't a mojo. It didn't uh, give me a mojo. I, I think you're forgetting to close the little tip things that come up at the bottom right. Probably. <laughs> it gives you little tips. I mean, uh, games kind of consist of you get your little character. You will die. Trust me, you will die. Oh, yeah. And that, that's pretty much it. But you get equipment for it, and it's like Mojo's gets you sort of revise, stat boosts, little creatures. Well, not little. I have a scary man that follows me for some reason. Yeah, he's just weird. <laughs> he's, just, I I, he's like, come back to me. Come, he's like, no, run away, and then he starts beating stuff up. No. I had him in one of my first run-throughs on this, and it's just weird. I think the one thing to mention about this though is that you know it being a roguelike, I think a lot of people can be put off by the term roguelike because they hear oh it's a roguelike experience it becomes this really like hardcore game that's maybe not really all that appealing to someone if they've never really played roguelikes yeah um i haven't really played roguelikes and i love this debate so I, i'm kind of inclined to call it a more casual roguelike um it might not go as far as to call it casual but it's a bit more I, by casual i mean I, you can sort of play it on the fly you know, it's it's much more, it's much less frustrating when you get a load of stuff and die in this than perhaps your more hardcore roguelike. And by hardcore, I mean in terms of uh, aesthetics and gameplay. See, so. as some people might have seen from the menu, you would use your coins that you collect in this actually to buy stuff as you come yeah. out of the multiplayer. And you can buy upgrades, but you have to collect the sort of pins, isn't it? Um... No, the the way you you can buy some stuff, uh, such as new masks and new uh, voodoo master mojo things, you buy those with medals, and the way you get medals uh, is basically by uh, completing a level. So in this case, we have two medals up for grabs, which are for destroying the two portals. Uh, but the coins that you collect are used to upgrade your pins. Now, I've actually got uh, two pins equipped right now, one of which gives me 80 plus 80 health, which is uh, 20 for each level. And you basically pay uh, each time you level up to upgrade your pins, so you can get more health from it or what more speed from it. What I meant you or... have to unlock them by playing the game. Oh, yeah. So I just got them... a scroll there that unlocked the next pin for me. Yeah. No, to unlock a pin, you basically find them. It's not uh, a set thing. It's just random drops, basically. And you'll find a pin. There's a door over here. Ooh, hello. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Stay still. No, oh, come no, here. Come right. here. Yes. <laughs> what did I get? Helpless the by the river. Oh, Rob. The I got Rob. Yeah. That's a very casual everyday oh, name. I yep. think this might be the exit. I got Rob, which gives me plus health and plus damage. Nice. Very nice. Oh, hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. This is no spiders, the shaman, guys. This is true. This is this is true. Oh well, folks. Uh, I will be pointing out though. I didn't mean to say oh well, folks, because I usually say that at the end of my videos. <laughs> Damn it. What I will want to point out is there's going to be a little extra video. Oh, you, father. I was recording a bit of content to try and make sure the audio levels were just right and no more even though if he screams it's probably gonna bust your eardrums well <laughs> no no you oh stop but there will be um a little extra video of amusing extras that i recorded while trying to fix the audio levels so let's just see if you're not fond of spiders you may not want to watch it but if you are fond of me wetting myself well there's always that you know 
because that's apparently a thing. Get the medal. Uh, yeah, I got the medal. Yeah, I was right. That was the exit over there. Now let's just kill these shamans. That's something to point out. There, it doesn't actually say what the mobs are called, but I've just sort of named them myself. You know, you've got, you've got the priests, you've got the skeletons, you've got shamans, you've got spiders and zombies, and well, some of them are obvious, I mean, but some of them are dressed up all fancy, like. See what you were saying? That just said, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it, there's, is it Z, X, Z, X, and C. C. Yeah, they'll give you little, like, lol, oh my god, my lol, god. and help. Because, why not? And of course, at the top, you actually have your total health, your total attack, total run speed, and I'm guessing it's range, isn't it? I think that's attack speed. Or attack speed. One yeah, health, damage, speed, and attack speed. This is the stat screen. It just tells you all your goodies. It you tells you know? that I'm better. No, you're not. Every Loa has a weak point, and the mine is drinking. Tell me about it, brother. What is that? Uh, that is the Mojo Mixer, which Ooh. we're not going to be able to use, because well, I, don't, have, I uh, don't have any Mojos. Oh. This was yeah, a waste basically this will allow you to put two Mojos on each table, well, one on each table, should I say, and then it'll make a powerful one, and they seem to stack from what we found yeah. out. The one, when I tried it, I had uh, one Mojo that gave me a speed buff and a 25% gold find. I had another Mojo that gave me a speed buff and a damage buff. I put one of them on one table, I put one on the other, it combined them and it basically stacked the stats and, onto one mojo. Um, we didn't really test anything further than that, but I would hope that you can actually stack mojos that have already been stacked. And if you get a lucky run, you could maybe eventually get a mojo that is just redonkulously stacked. I think that's the way the game has a sort of progression in yeah. a sense. Like you, you die, but you have to go back to the beginning of the... Yeah. I don't know if you could call it a story or dungeon or... Uh, it seems there's a story. I mean, this is still chapter one, and we we haven't got through it yet. And I've been playing this for a good few hours today, and I'm, I've had, you know, Just maybe got to the second dying. or third level. You know, there's plenty of chapters, and um, this is still chapter one, and I'm still really enjoying it. So it, it's definitely got that replayability. It helps that the all the levels are randomly um, generated. Um, I would find. Um, um, um. Come here a second. Killing things. Yeah, I, I brought. Don't go down there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. I, I, I brought well, some friends. I killed a lot of them. You're welcome. Apparently, I'm good at video games. <laughs> I just got another pin. Oh, nice. I think I've got three of them in total. Oh, That's me, got up my here. third one. The bones, don't forget the bones. There is, over uh, here. You keep what? missing stuff. Let's see this. RP, uh -huh. RIP thing. Click it. Uh -huh. Go. Oh! That was a thing! I just got a new inventory slot. Okay. So that's what those things are. Yeah. Oh. I found another RIP thing. Wait, I just got a mojo. And another inventory slot. I just got a relic. A mysterious relic with magical properties. I've got an increase in health. Nice. That would now oh, would bomb be a guy. There's a bomb guy. Now would be a good chance to go to the mojo creation thingy, the jig. Yeah. I've got more inventory slots, which is always nice. Now, people may be wondering, oh, your basic attack seems a bit meh. You actually do get other staffs. You do. You can pick them up. For example, I've got one. Look at me. I've got this one, which is the... Does a lot of damage. Does a lot of damage. I want this. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have the range. I think that's I mine. Should. Yeah. This will be allowed to use you. The English. This gives me a special ability. Um, but my uh, lower, that's what you call them. my lower, isn't the default one. <clears throat> I spent ten medals to get the second one. So. What's the second one again. I it give it's uh, what gives me oh a medal. Uh, basically, the second one gives you different abilities. You know the way you can press uh, space to do one thing, yours is a dodge roll, and then right mouse button is uh, for yes. what, that for you, whereas for me it's a bomb. Mm. Uh, basically, a different lower does that, and it also gives you a passive ability. My passive ability is that when a mob gets close to me, um, it, it basically lets me sap its health when it's close to me. And I think if it's close to me and it does the whole sap thing, you can also sap its health. Also, uh, can we my... note the masks? Yeah. Masks are awesome. There's a bit of customization with masks. There's, uh, from what I, I, I'm assuming there's a Minecraft mask. I know there's a TF2 Heavy and a TF2 Pyro. Uh, there's apparently other ones as well that are from other video games. <clears throat> so, yeah. Because the developers do know that. Gimme, 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 gimme. 
Yeah, I got new staff. Yep. The developers do know that there's a lot of little things in here to nods to other games. Ooh, mine's a lightning. Yes. Nice. Yes. Um, back to the uh, abilities just really quickly, for anyone curious. My spacebar ability is this, and basically inside of this uh, glowing circle, the rate of fire is higher. This thing's uh, not dying easily. Not so much for you, because, you know, lightning, but... Oh, I think I'm poisoned. I am poisoned. Yep. I think poisoned I'm you. very nearly died. I have a potion if you need it. Would be much appreciated. Come here. In fact, I might even wreck this guy and get some health off him. Yeah, a little bit. There you go. Potion. Thank you. What did I just get there? Metal. Multi-usable. Create a shortwave that fears nearby enemies. Ah. His poor owner died after drinking too much. Brog. Huh. Let's right. go to this room here. I think it's multi-usable, so what does it do? Yeah, it'll basically uh, cool down and... Oh, it's another mojo mixer. I I've got two mojos. So okay. This will... See... What did I do? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, it just combines them, because it's got now plus 71. Huh. And now it's okay. purple. It'll that... be, I like, like I said, it'll be interesting to see if you can get multiple... Stacks, you know, would, would we be able to stack two mojos that are already stacked? But if you die, you lose them. Yeah, that's the thing. Your character I, I, progression <laughs> goes up, but yeah, other items and everything. Your die. coins uh, continue on, your medals continue on, your experience continues, but all the items you had are gone. Which I guess, uh, if you know, the higher level you are, the more you go through it, and the better you get. I guess that might be the point where it starts, you know, that roguelike frustration comes into it, because, you know, you have that moment where you realize, I've just had an hour long run, I've done fantastically well, and I've just died in some stupid way. I, I think it might be something like that that becomes, you know, brings the frustration of a roguelike into this, but I haven't had that yet. I don't think it will. I think the game just looks too nice and aesthetically pleasing to... The the graphics are really nice. It's nice and bold. There's interesting creatures. I mean, you get skeletons and zombies mostly here. Also, yeah. it's killing me. You've got it's spiders. a little bit silly. That's what so I like about it. It has that kind of. It, it definitely has the whole voodoo thing going on, but it also just looks a little bit silly. And I'm gonna do something. Summon our friend. Oh. This is our friend, who gets to go smack stuff. Around. We like to call him Johnny Depp. Oh, another medal. That's ten medals. You'll be able. To, how many medals do you seven. have? Um, I've used a few of mine a good bit. Okay, well, we'll get one more from this. I've got ten, so I can actually buy a new mask if I so desire. Um, I can also... I'll get you in a second. Dead. I can also friend. get a... I can also... I think I can get a couple of masks, actually. Get her. I leave again. You get... Is it two lives? Three lives? Yeah. You get a few lives to use when you're doing a run with players and yourself and whatnot, but... Try not to use them too much. Yeah, because they don't they don't reset on every level. Basically, three lives per run. Once you're out, that's your run over. Yeah. Don't like that. Right. We have this over here. That's nice and There's done. Eleven medals for me. This guy is sapping my health. There we go. Ooh, I could use that. There we go. He's sapping my health. Is this up here? Is that the exit? Uh, no. I think it's a shrine. It is, yeah. Containing a thing. A thing. That's a mojo. Uh, Erjulie's tear. Increase the effectiveness of any source of healing on you. Basically, plus 25% healing. So anything that heals me is 25% better. Nice. Which I that will work really well with my um, Loa, actually, There's because my Loa is. There's an amount of items in here. Yeah, my Loa is actually a healer anyway. Oh, hello. So. Oh, coins. That'll be interesting. There's also I noticed one thing you can do. I can't beat you up, but I can steal your coins. Yeah, there is a death. This is a, something to mention actually. There is a death match mode. There is a team death match. There's a CTF. There is a you know a kind of PVP mode or several PVP modes to this. I will get you at some point. I'll get you at some point. I haven't really tried them. I don't really have much desire to try them, honestly. The story mode is awesome, though. Yeah, that's the thing. I think it's... I, I just... I genuinely wonder 
why they put the, the kind of PvP in there. It's some people just like it. Mm. What? I reached a swamp full of chickens. They don't seem very happy to see me begin the culling. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> See the big... Oh, no. Oh, I love this game. Oh, no. Everything is randomly generated. <laughs> um... Oh, no. The big pollo. Oh, dear. Get the chicken. Get the chicken. Oh, it's got a lot of help. It's got a lot of help. Oh, my. That thing has a lot of help. Wow. I would love to have a fire staff right now. Just kill the chicken. Working on it. Ooh. Ooh, he's not happy with me. Back off. Kill it, kill I, it, kill it. Kind of run so the circle. Take before run the circle. I bring the video to an end, what are your impressions on it? I actually really enjoy it. And I think... Um, it, it's one of those games that you look at and you go, eh, I'll play it for maybe an hour or maybe two hours and then I'll kind of be done with it. it, it but really, I, I'm genuinely seeing me playing this a lot more because I, it, it's that kind of, um, it, it's, it's very much encouraging you. Hmm? Note the music. <laughs> yes. It, it, it very much encourages you to replay it, and I think, you know, it, it's partially due to the fact that it's uh, randomly generated on each level, but I think it is also very much a case of it's charming, it's silly, it's friendly, it's not all that difficult. Honestly, it's kind of reminiscent of Magicka in terms of the, you know, the, the view and the camera and all you that stuff. You just can't and kill each other. Yeah, you just can't brutally murder each other in the way that you can with Magicka. And I think that's something I really enjoy, that it, it brings back memories of Magicka. So, personally, I do really, really enjoy it. And I would highly recommend it, honestly. I'm probably right there with you. I mean, it's, like graphics-wise, it's awesome. It's nice and bold. It's really fun to play. Like, ridiculously fun, actually. Uh, the rogue, rogue aspect, I love rogue rogue games hmm. don't know what you're you said you don't play them much so i mean coming to this from being i've played quite a few of them it's pretty darn awesome yeah. and there will be a steam link down below if you guys want to go pick it up and once again thank you conflict nerd for joining me in this smash look thank you for having me